For all the old school hip hop heads. <laughs> Who is that singer? Digital Underground Return of the Crazy One. Then how long? What year was that song? I mean, nineteen ninety. Wow, ninety one maybe. Oh, they're the ones who sang the Humpty Hump, the Humpty Dance. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Pick up the mic, Leonard. Good evening, Leonard. How you feeling? A uh, little bit. I you know, just had a pretty rough workout. Uh, I took do? in a high protein my isolate with carbotene from Gat Nutrition. A lot of carbs and protein. So where did you train at? LA Fitness in Boca. LA Fitness in Delray. What a place! Places a zoo always. So it's cookie cutter hell. Boca's better. Why are you going to go to Boca? That's a better place. I like Boca. Don't you like Boca better? Nothing compared to the old world gym. No. Unfortunately. Both the old world gyms. The old world gym in Boynton. Still sitting there empty with the huge for rent sign. Yeah. Be three years in March. Well, because the, well, the deal is over there. Whoever rents it has to fix the fucking the, 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 the pipes for the toilets and all that shit. I guess it, it's all fucked up in there. The air conditioned unit on the top is fucking blown out. Remember how... How it was all, That's it right was leaking running. and it was all black up there. Because <coughs> you remember that guy, right. Mike Titz's friend. He's the one that called about it because he wants to get a place. And he said in order, the landlord said in order for you to get that place, you have to fix everything that's in The landlord's not fixing shit. So the plumbing's all fucked up. The air conditioner's fucked up. So right off the bat, you're in the hole. You know what I mean? It's basically still, it was an old Winn-Dixie. It was an old supermarket. right. right. But it's something will go there. I mean, it's a huge spot, too, man. It's t way too big. You don't even need that big of a somebody space. Somebody please bring an old World or Golds or Powerhouse or something to well, Delray as soon Beach. As, as soon, as to soon, West Delray. As soon as I make a lot of money, I think I'm going to open a gym for us. A hardcore gym where we take our shirt on and do what the fuck we want. <laughs> well, yeah, anything goes. Charge a little more. I mean, And girls can take their shirts would, off and train with guys with their shirts well, off. At, at the, the fuck? That's great. Perfect. <laughs> at the end of this year, LA Fitness is opening up a new branch in West Boynton. So there'll be three in Boca, two in Boynton, and one in Delray. Mm -hmm. And Planet Fitness, you know, that's right in the middle of Delray Beach. That, that's going to monopolize. It's going to hurt people. Hurt business. That place is serious. That's one of the reasons why World Gym closed. As soon as that Planet Fitness opened, it was fucked, everyone gone. migrated there. Yeah, but now that they're revitalizing that whole, that northeast corner with the new Publix they're putting in, they put in all that new shit. I mean, it's a... Military in Atlantic is going to be a very busy intersection too. Yeah. So they should put a gym there. They get traffic. The and only problem is the fucking the Planet Fitness. Keep out the riffraff to pay the ten a month, charge thirty a month. Have people that are a little more serious about that. May I say the something? Ten dollars a month to me is basically free. That uh, oh, absolutely. Hold on. Go ahead, Jason. Well, my new series is a hit. What do you think of the? Get Lenny the uh, Freakier by the Day series. I think you breathed some new life into the Misfit universe. Yeah, yeah. And I'm glad you took the initiative, as you don't normally did. I mean, hey, you started all I this. I care. I care about my. I care about my people. You are all close to my circle, and I'll care about. Yes, you. you did. You invited us many, me many times on. I can say for that, you were open to everybody, and uh, that's why. You know, you're love the world over. I love my. I love the Misfits, and I love you guys. You guys have been in my circle for like, but we have history all the way back. So I, I'm thinking about coming out. I'm doing like 100, 150 episodes of Premier Pod a day. Well, I'm coming. I'm thinking. It's going to be a bumpy ride, Brad. No, <laughs> 150 coming, episodes. I'm thinking about coming out with um, uh, freak, a bulkier, a freak bul bulky by the day and mm -hmm. uh, uh, stronger by the day, f uh, fitter by the day. Not shredded by the day because we don't want to. Just fitter by the day. <laughs> we wouldn't want to diet, right? No, uh, just fitter okay. by the day. R working out and getting in sh under, like, getting around 15% body fat. Not Jason, 10. take it further. If I can have a suggestion. With all your knowledge on the sport, how about more knowledgeable by the day? Knowledgeable. Smart, smarter by the day. Wow. Knowledgeable, knowledgeable yeah. by the day. How about this? How about Jason will be sitting in a recliner reading everybody a, a Lord, children's Sith, book. Sith, <laughs> Sith, Sith, <laughs> wear, wearing a monocle. Sith, Sith, <laughs> Sith, Lord, Sith Lord terrorizes Miami with hot chicks part one. I'm going to do those. How Whoa. About, <laughs> Lenny's ready for that ride. <laughs> sure. Pick Lenny, pick Lenny up on your way down. <laughs> yeah. So how about Sith Lord terrorizes Meisner Park hey, and hot chicks we'll numbers? Make, make Cassidy Campbell look like the boar fest that yeah, he is. Yeah, we'll wear up in the Andrew. We'll, you'll dress up as Lord Vader. I'll dress up as uh, Lord Vader in the costume, and we'll carry lightsabers and get girls' numbers. Terrorize them. I don't know how many girls' numbers you're going to get carrying a lightsaber. <laughs> I'm just, just letting you know. Hey, baby, I'm Lord Vader. You'll, you get, you'll, get, you'll get their ugly friend's number. That's what you'll get. Let me oh, put sure. my lightsaber down and write down your number. I'll use my Jedi mind tricks on them. <laughs> And then I'm gonna be um then I'm gonna be um doing um um stronger by the day I'm gonna be doing um shop, uh, shopping videos by the day like 
bulking diet videos and I'm going to be doing. So basically, any verb followed by by the day, you're going <laughs> exactly. to be doing it. Yeah. <laughs> it's just in a reason to do a yeah. video every fucking day. Right. Yeah, but, there, but, but let me tell you something. The, probably the best episode I ever came out is Freakier, by the way. People don't want to see me small and puny. They want to see me large and be big. Well, not only that, but when you're big and fat and happy, you're, you're, most, <laughs> you're, you're most entertaining. Everyone, I mean, everyone you, know, you know what I've noticed? When PJ was fat, he was happier. Now, because he's died, he's just mean. He was mean to you? No, he's been mean because he's died. He's, all, he's not as happy. When, I, when he was really out of shape, he was nicer. Now he's just more. Like so they call it fat and happy. You're not fat and happy when you're died. You're miserable. Everybody is, unfortunately. Yeah. You're yeah. miserable, too. I'm not. When I'm oh, fat, shit. I can't be. Oh, shit. You're a grouchy fuck when you're cutting. <laughs> no. I'm a grouchy fuck when I'm bulking. Can't fucking breathe. Excuse my language. It's cookie cutter. Most people are the opposite of, like, miserable. I'd rather be 20% body fat, be a freak, than a pussy like a string bean looking depleted like Dale. Why? 200 pounds <laughs> over Jason, why are you looking at me when you're saying that, Jason? I'd rather be, I'd rather be 230, be frail large and in charge than a frail corpse looking like an Ethiopian crackhead <laughs> <laughs> from Uganda. <laughs> and you, last year when I was dying, I was miserable. I looked like I was a, a crackhead on, 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 on meth. <laughs> Last year I looked bad, man. I looked my place face was all depleted. Remember that? Well, there's that one video. I think it's called "A Morning with the Madman," where there's that one sort of now infamous picture of you just sort of blankly <laughs> staring at me. You know, and I'm telling you, he had, like, the, he had the loose psycho eyes. Yeah, and I'm like, Jason, you know, just don't burn yourself out. And and I did. And, and you did. <laughs> I crashed did. and burned. Yeah, you you totally just like you fucked your you. You cut it the wrong time. Yeah, cut it too early. Yeah, it was you were the time way off. Wrong. Yeah, you need somebody. You're you're a person that needs somebody to coach you <clears throat> to those competitions if you're ever going to do them. You cannot self coach. I like yourself. I like I like to be big, better better off. I know, but I'm just saying you need somebody to coach you. Live with me, that. probably. That's the only way it will work. Probably live with me. He may end up doing that. Yeah, Who? Not me. You're gonna live. That's with a me. nice you, place you, out you, there. You you can live with him. I'll be living with Jason. Probably twenty years from now. You could put, you could fit your bed in this living room. <laughs> At least I'll keep the place clean. Yeah. Sure. Wait, wait, who will keep the place clean? I will. He can. Would you let? <laughs> He'll keep if, the place clean. If, Le if Leonard was homeless, would you let him live with you? Yeah, hell yeah. Your mom wouldn't care either. No, he likes. She like totally likes Lenny. He could. That would be fucking great. If you set up just a couple cameras in your house and you two assholes, we would <laughs> we go. Well, there would be a lot of tans coming over. Ten, ten, ten. Yeah, there you go. Jason, you might want to stay in your room. <laughs> okay. No, Jason goes through him like a hot knife through butter. Just like he went through Miss... You know uh, how fucking... You, got, you, you know how nuts that would be if they actually lived together? No. <laughs> you guys would have to do what we would do when we were in college, when if you had someone over, you'd hang a sock outside your door. You know, to alert your roommate. Oh, okay. <laughs> so come, come back later. So if you had a... You had one over, you can... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then Jason would just do a 24-hour live Twitch stream. <laughs> Shut your phone off, or at least mute it. Yeah. So I know that one of, one of Brad's favorite topics is just how oversensitivity in this country has just run amok. This is an article that was published on December 21st. The title of the article is Aquarium Says Sorry for Calling Otter Thick Girl. <laughs> All right? This is a real article from the New York Post. Oh, my fucking God. A California aquarium apologized on a Wednesday for a Twitter post calling one of their otters a thick girl and a chunk, which critics slammed as racist. <laughs> <laughs> Abby is a thick girl. The monetary Bay, the monetary Bay Aquarium <laughs> tweeted Tuesday, along with a photo of Abby the otter. Who the hell is this? Wait, what an absolute unit. She chunk. Look at the size of this lady. Oh lord, she coming. The tweet continued. <laughs> while the tweet, while the tweet got thousands of likes and retweets, scores of Twitter users skewered the aquarium for fat shaming the otter. <laughs> the. the the aquarium later tweeted out body positivity and another post reading work hard, nom harder. Christine D'Angelo, the aquarium's curator of mammals, spoke, spoke out after the backlash over the original tweet. Uh, I'm not wearing my fucking glasses over the original tweet surface, saying that Abby wasn't even fat. 
for an otter, adding that the photo was snapped at a bad angle. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so now you can't call an otter fat without a back. An an who's an, an otter? What otter? It's, a kind, it's an Jason. animal. Jason. A fucking animal. Looks like a beaver. <laughs> <laughs> An otter, they can't How can you be racist against a fucking animal? <laughs> well, first of all, what is a chunk? <laughs> what the hell is a chunk? Has chunk? anyone heard? Urban? I've heard. I've heard of a chunga, but that's what Spanish women, call, you know, Someone Spanish women call other Spanish so women that California? are like sluts. Yeah, yeah, chunga, this chunga. California. The Monterey Bay, Quer Monterey. Monterey Bay. I've been. I've been there. I used to live there. So you've been to that aquarium? Yes, I have. So you saw the fat otter? No, I saw it years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, years ago, back in the day. <laughs> I've been there several times. I really want to know what a chunk is and why is that considered racist? And who gives a fuck? Who gives a kiss a damn oh, animal? Oh, I, I, gotta, I have to urban dictionary this. Excuse me. <laughs> what? Who's a chunk? This is, this is what this fucking country's coming to. I believe it. <laughs> it's, you can't say shit. Leonard, your fucking phone's ringing. God damn it. Chunk. <laughs> who the hell is that? Answer it. Put him on speaker. Hello. Hello. This is PNC Bank Card Loss Prevention calling in regards to your Visa debit card account. This is not a telemarketing call. We would like to speak with William Joseph to verify some recent activity. <laughs> Who the fuck is William <laughs> Joseph? We would like to speak to you. <laughs> For the hundredth time, that, that Haitian... The Haitian isn't me. Quit calling for him. <laughs> 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 Whoa, that's Jason, funny. I'm wearing, you're gonna rupture my ear. <laughs> Jeez, that guy's annoying. Fuck you, pardon. How often do uh, they call you? Every day, Jesus. different numbers for William Joseph. Who the hell is he? The fuck is that? So a chunk refers to an aggressively chubby house cat. <laughs> Kimbo. If, if, if it has between 30 and 60% body fat. If Jason's a chunk. If you were, 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 were 5% higher, you'd be a chunk. 60% body fat. A Chunk. Yeah, my mom's cats are chunks. What's the big deal yeah, about right. a chunk? Yeah. I don't know. <sighs> what? According to the article, people were claiming that the term chunk is racist, but a chunk refers to a fat cat, so I don't really <laughs> think it's I don't racist. Get, I don't connect those dots. <laughs> it doesn't match. Some people are sick. What is this world coming to, the end? It's fucking no. disturbing, man. You no, no, no fat shaming otters in this house. <laughs> Again, <laughs> bullying is going to make you or break you. It's made many people. How many skinny guys got sand kicked in their face and started lifting? Bullying is the best thing for everybody, all their whole life. <clears throat> what? That gets you motivated. When you come in and everyone accepts you like at Planet Fitness, their philosophy is no, a judgment-free sandwich, which means you can be a fat, ignorant, lazy, whatever. <laughs> and you're accepted there. Ignoramus. Just don't judge. <laughs> everybody judges. I love how people say, "Oh, I don't, I don't judge." Well, everybody judges. You always, you have to. Appearance. The first thing you see of somebody is their appearance. You're automatically judging them. It just, and if someone's natural, fat, you nine times it. out of ten, they're diabetic, or they're going to be. Mm -hmm. They're going to die a painful death, just like that creep little kitten killer from Peru. <laughs> hey, what sick. was that about? Andrew Calora kept to call me last night. He was telling me that. They'll, he's allowed to do that because he's handicapped. Bullshit. Are you serious? Yeah, people are saying that. What's what's the? I I looked that up because somebody sent me the link to yeah. it, and it's all in Spanish. You can't understand what the fuck the guy's saying. I couldn't watch it. No, or Chile. I'm sorry, he's from Chile. Chile. Yeah. Ugh. What a piece of shit. And YouTube allows him to put videos of that shit up. They don't flag it or take it down. Apparently not. And he has a lot Whoa. of followers. No kidding. I doubt the shit's monetized. But even still, like, how, how can that be allowed to be up there? Beats me. And it's okay because he's handicapped. Oh. No, it's not. <laughs> handicapped how? What's his handicap? I don't know. He's just, he can't read, maybe? I don't know. I didn't watch any of his videos, so I... I, I don't want to watch no. it. No, 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 me neither. No, no. That's unfucking believable So Jason could get away with killing cats, then? No, I don't... I wouldn't do that. Of no. course you wouldn't. Mm. He's saying... If you're handicapped, you can get away with all this shit? Some people are justifying that. I mean, you can plead and you can kill someone and plead insanity and get away with it. That's true. <laughs> look at the look at the lady who cut off John Wayne Bobbitt's dick. She pleaded insanity and she got away with it. 
She was declared not guilty by reason of insanity. She cut her husband's dick off because he was having an affair. <laughs> yeah. You can kill a human. You can torture kittens. If a jury or if, if a jury You can shoot it. the president. How about that punk that yeah. shot Reagan? He yep. got the insanity. Yep. What was his name? Hinckley. John Hinckley Jr.? Yeah. He's threatening uh, Jodie Foster. <clears throat> yeah. What about the one who killed um, uh, Lennon, the Beatles? Mark David Chapman. I don't I know. Think I don't he's know, still I don't locked know up. I think he's locked up. I don't know if he claimed insanity or not. I don't I know. Think what he tried. His, I don't know what we'll his story check into was. that. Fucking nuts, man. I, I'm not a big, you know, I'm not a big animal person. I don't, I don't mind them. I, I like animals, just not in my home. It's just another fucking nuisance to me. I don't want to have to walk a dog when it's fucking raining out. It's good to like play the, with them. It's fun. Dirty fucking fun. Hair, <laughs> hair everywhere and shit. Cats are probably the easiest because they don't. They require very low maintenance. But still, I'm not. I don't need that bullshit. But I still wouldn't. That people are fucking disgusting. That's cruel. You can't do that to something. Cowardly. It's like hurting a child. Right. What the fuck is wrong with you? Sickos, bastards. Go pick on somebody, you know, like a big dog. Or try to do it to a big dog, see what happens to you. They'll bite you. Or a big bobcat. Like, uh, like loose dogs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> try picking on them, you little punk. <laughs> he brings them to work. Yeah. Every day they don't attack. Yeah, well, like, we used to me, so that's good. I'm, yeah. I feel totally fine around him. Yeah. No matter how much they bark. Well, you had to give Kara. You put her in check a while ago. Yeah, it worked, but... She likes when I pet her head. It's very friendly to me. What was that little moan, Jason? Nothing. I still got to go train do my cardio tonight. tonight? Just 20 tonight? minutes. Tonight? Which gym are you going to? Fitness and Bogus Dead. I like you it. hear that, maniac? Why would you go all the way there to do 20 minutes of cardio? Why don't you just walk around your neighborhood for 20 fucking minutes? Because it's different. You're breaking, you're keeping I mean, your it's arm. different. Yeah, you're going to fucking waste all your gas and two hours of driving. There's probably some ass over there he That's likes. why I'm going for ass. Bullshit. Not that late. <laughs> Nobody, nobody's there that late. There's some hot girls there. Some ass left. Oh, please. Just to, you're going to drive all the way to Boca to do 20 minutes of cardio. To see ass. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you're just saying that because Leonard said yeah. If I had a car, tired as I am, I'd drive to Dixie to see some ass too. <laughs> but you would actually do something. He does not. He, what the fuck's he going to do? Mm. You don't know what he's doing. I think he's a has us. He's all like fooled. a creep, just staring. <laughs> I don't know about from that. From a distance, looking at ass. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's very. Actually, excited. he was good though. The other day when Jay was there, he, he got that girl to to film a little bit with us. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. Miss Priss, who didn't want to be filmed originally, boy, she turned. Right, you were there that that first day we met her. Yeah, yeah. he turned out to be good. Yeah, <laughs> she's playing along well with the trolls too. It's funny. It is funny. She is. Because they make comments and she comments back and hi hee hee ha ha ha. She did a cannonball into Lake Kresva. Yeah, yeah. That'll get that shit'll get old. Watch. Get dirty with her trolls on the order of Big Lenny. Oh, see how test her. See how. See what she can take. Yeah. See. Yeah. Exactly. She thinks she's can handle you trolls. Well, come up with some creativity and let let us know. My yeah. permission. And she's not a porn star. I asked her. She's twenty. She's a fit Most model. Most of them are at twenty. Yeah, well, I'm just saying her age, but she, I asked her if she's a porn She's a model. She she's no, a model. It was a joke. She's a what model. What type of model? Fitness model. Oh, please. <laughs> another one of these fitness <laughs> models. Another an, Lexi? An, an Instagram diamond. fitness model. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's another the one. Give me a break. Better shape than that. Exercise is delusional. <sighs> God damn it, Brad. Delusional. <laughs> she's, she's, uh, she's, Brad, that's two. Three she, in your house. She's exceptionally furry, too. <laughs> yeah. Like, By the way, the girls have like fucking sideburns. <laughs> Bye. Oh, goodbye. Good night. <laughs> Speaking of Johnny Q, or the guy that coined the term cookie cutter, Johnny, a, Johnny Love. Johnny Love <laughs> has a new name for Brad. He just started calling him that. What? Furry Murray. <laughs> hey, where's Furry Murray at? <laughs> I said, why do you call him that? He goes with a beard and all the hair and a eh. <laughs> <laughs> Furry Murray, the leather daddy. There we go. Let's go. You it rhymes. Guys. Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What's the matter, dipshit? You're dying to open that FedEx. Yeah, thing. I want to open it up. Um, Go ahead. Wait, that's empty. <laughs> ah, he thought something was in it. You in fucking He's dying. Bastard. Open it up. Here, Jason, dying. <laughs> two weeks ago, somebody sent me a couple of pictures to sign, and that's the old FedEx envelope. I've been too lazy to throw it out. Oh, it's in here. Yes. Yeah. You Just can open. open. That's a new one. You can open that. Ask the name, or uh, state the name. See who it's from. 
It's on the package, you too, fucking moron. This is too Leonard. Okay, but there's other shit in there. There's there's like four envelopes. Wow, look at this packaging. Yeah, look. Package. That's brand. Like... It's brand. Ah. Let's see what you got, Leonard. If Jason isn't there, if you want to open it for me. Oh, look at that. Very nice. What'd you get? Oh, man. This is great. Film this. this is what I've always wanted for a long time. It's serious. Nothing for me. Uh. <laughs> That's not nice, man. That's we got the Road Warriors. Two Jason drop dead. Look at that. Screw you, <laughs> <laughs> Screw you fucktard. <laughs> what? Screw you, asshole. He said drop dead. That's an asshole. What an asshole. Fuck that guy. What a fucking asshole, man. That's not a nice thing to say to somebody. Fuck you, bitch. I'll beat your ass any day. What do you got to say to Salvatore? Go fuck yourself, you pansy. Not a very nice thing, man. That's, that's not a fan. That's a fucking troll right there for you. <laughs> He, hey. saw, he saw that I he saw that I got five bucks and he's so pissed. Give him the five dollars, Brad. Fuck him. He owes me fifty still. You know? <laughs> fuck fuck that guy. That guy's not a fan. He's, why is he doing that shit? Well, clearly not. <laughs> he's a fucking asshole. No oh. shit, Sherlock. He's a fucking asshole. Well, well, he might be a fan. He's not a fan. He's not a fan of yours. Fuck him, man. Fuck that pansy. Fuck I hope he, he rots. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Fuck that asshole. <laughs> I don't want that on video, man. I don't want that on video. Shut up, you fucking baby. I don't want that on video, because that guy's a scumbag. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Jason, do you ever read the comments in your YouTube videos? <laughs> like, so many people have said that before. Don't let that bother you. Come yeah. On. Not going to put that in the video. Wow, right? 3X, perfect size. You're not going to put that in the video, are you? This is phenomenal. I don't know, Jason. I'll think about it. No, don't. I'm asking. Come on. It's funny. No. It'll... It's on just, the podcast. Just, just stop. It's going, going on the podcast? Stuff. Jason, don't be. When have you ever let stuff like that bother you? You know, how many ne... <coughs> if you read the comments in your YouTube videos, people write fucked up things all the time. You... Is that in your podcast? Well, is, is it going to be did on you... podcast, this video? Just shut up. Jason. Don't worry about that now. We're doing a podcast. We're talking. Yeah. Did you open yours? No, not yet. Open yours. Let's see. Watch Leonard get like a hundred. Maybe he told me to drop dead too. Hold on. If I get a hundred, I'm gonna have to give it to Jason. I just. Did you read your note? I'll Let's read mine. One. Okay, too Brad. I have a big nose and dark skin. Anyway, you're more than a male prick. Actually, no, you're a male prick. That shit ain't changing ever. But you're not a bad guy, and you're the same age as I. So probably remember how awesome World Industries blind jeans and 39 millimeter wheels used to be. Correct. Yeah, I had all that shit. Here's five bucks. <laughs> it isn't a lot, but it's something, and I figure you can buy some non-Starbucks they, they with coffee too. with it. Take care, comb your hair. Salvatore. P.S. You can inject in your thighs, but that's always a rough injection. No, it's not. But all right. Thanks, pal. Right, my turn. Thanks, Salvatore. Salvatore can go fuck himself. <laughs> Pansy bitch. Too big, Lenny. Please enjoy this shirt. I know this is one of your favorite tag teams. You're certainly right on that. Next time you go in Di Diamond Dolls, Show it to that jabroni bouncer right before he says his prayers to eat his meal with the fucking strip joint. Yeah, the warlord who was arch rivals of the road warriors. Your laugh anytime you sing, whenever you do your jail chance first voice, the only thing you do. I mention all the things the maniacs love about you. I'm not going to do the cookie cutter thing where people say don't die. Instead, I'll say please keep living and know that you're loved by a lot of people. With kind regards, Salvatore. P.S. One time I got a blowjob from one who looked like Terry Gordy. <laughs> that <laughs> happened in Pennsylvania. <laughs> great. Maybe it was Terry Gordy. <laughs> Thanks, Salvador. This is a fantastic shirt. I'm going to show the warlord. Thanks for the fin, Salvador. <clears throat> to Prince Andrew, you're a Jew in Boca, and I work as a waiter. Jeez, we should naturally be enemies given those things. <laughs> However, I get a feeling that you're not one of those sauce on the side heebs who order hot water with lemon, also known as a Boca cocktail. <laughs> uh, it's 
true. That's what we call it. When the old ladies order a, a you know, ice water with lemon, so they can make their own lemonade and not have to pay fifty cents for it. Or they'll bring, or they'll bring in their little uh, the little packets of a sugar, light right? Or, yeah. Also, come on, a little salt won't kill you. I know better, though. You're a most likely an exception to those tropes. Fuck, you're one of the few, if not only, pro-Trump Mazo Cristo. Here is five buck. It's not a lot, but it's a token of appreciation. Thank you, Salvatore. Also, please continue to tell young men to not get a woman knocked up. It hasn't, <laughs> it hasn't happened to me yet, thank God, but I was getting lazy about contraception and listening to the podcast reminded me. Good boy, Salvatore. Best wishes, Salvatore. Salvatore, P.S. Dr yes, drop dead. No, I'm just kidding. He says drop dead. That's no, what no. tan tan tens are for. You don't have to worry about knocking anybody up. You, you sick want me to sign those It always goes back to that, you jerk. Yeah, why do you want to leave now? Yeah, I'm going to You got to run? We got two more boxes to open, asshole. Oh. <laughs> Let's open them up. Here. Right. Now we'll stay. The heavy one. I'll Come on. Read, read who it's from, Jason. Watch the uh, mic, watch the mic. Who's it from? Uh, I can't even pronounce it. Oh. Athletic Club Kawaki? Whatever. Leonard, like read that fuck. Read that for him, please. It's Hawaii? Somewhere watch in Hawaii? The mic. Honolulu? Kauai. Kauai, or whatever the fucking from. I think it's Kauai. Jason, I think I better go get you a knife. Right. Get me a knife. Hold on. Use those fucking chompers. No. If there was some pussy in there, you'd rip it open. Don't you, ha don't you have some kind of hook thing on your necklace that you can cut it open with? No. Nah. Look at this shirt. That's a nice shirt, man. <laughs> the Legion of Doom, the Road Warriors. We'll play that song going out. Why don't you take that knife and fucking slice that prick's neck? Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you douchebag. I got five dollars. Really five. I got five, I, I mean, five dollars. <laughs> yeah, 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 this is what we make off of Jason's YouTube. Five bucks. <laughs> Let's see what's in it. Open it. Oh my god, it's heavy. There's a bunch of t-shirts, I think. We'll just dump them all over the fucking floor so you can have cat hair all over them too, you asshole. <laughs> oh, sick. Well, everybody gets one. Said, I don't know if everybody gets one. I think so. I don't know There's if one for you. What size is it? I don't know. Look at the sizes. <laughs> I, don't know. I told them, me and Andrew are extra large, Leonard's 3X. Let's see what we got. What is it, a sweater? Hoodie. That's mine, that's so. I don't know which one's mine. What are you, a 2X? Actually, if there's a small in there, it's yours, Jason. I told him you were a small. You did? Yeah, it's you like big, to wear small shirts. It's a big XL, this is an XL. It's a big well, hook. Just, let's see. <laughs> XL. Leonard, put him over here. Get that shit out of the way before he knocks the fucking microphone off. Yeah. This is a uh, I'll take that one. Yeah, this nice. is an XL, I'll take this Very one. Very comfortable, I'll breathable. Where you touch it. For me. That is soft. What else? XL, this is probably for Is there a note in there? Jason, There's no note in there. Leonard can't wear a fucking XL, you dipshit. Here, this is a note. Read it. Alright. He might say, to don't Del get... Ray don't misses, get... keep the podcast coming and keep it uh, Talk real. To the mic. No cookie cutter bullshit. Merry Christmas, Mikey. Mikey. Magic Mike 008 Instagram. 008. At Magic, Magic Mike 808. <laughs> <laughs> Pick up your mic, Leonard. He's throwing the fucking clothes. This is 3XL for you. This is, that's mine. That's mine. 3X. Thanks, oh. Magic Mike from Hawaii. We appreciate it, man. What, let me see. What's the 3X? This is nice. What's the logo on that, Jason? What does it say? Tag Estates. Chance Estates? No, you idiot. <laughs> This is XL, this is mine. This is probably mine. Look at him just fucking <laughs> taking everything, <laughs> cocksucker. XL. This is, this is XL for you. I'll take you to Well, you're a tank top kind of guy, Jason, so that's your. I'm an XL. Yeah, that's, that Give me for me. That's an XL. Mm. You're not taking all that shit. That's a nice shirt, Brad. Okay, well, it's soft. Well, this is for you and this is for me. I wear sweaters anyway. You don't Brad wear doesn't wear tank tops, does he? Here, Brad. Sometimes you. You should. Hoodie. Thanks. Not like we'll ever need a hoodie down here, but yeah, thanks, man. Thank you. Thanks, Magic Mike 808. Now Thanks, we got. Mike. They're great. They are great. <clears throat> Which one? You got. I got a tank of this person. Okay, you happy now? Yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> Alright, got another one. That's from Senor McCloy. Maybe Christina's fucking head is in there. Uh. <laughs> Maybe you got her wedding dress. Two X? This. 
My my boss will like this, Adam. Yeah, give that to Lou, 2X. That's a good one, actually. I don't know if he fits into it. What, do you think he's a three? I always tell him. I'll give it to him. Here's an extra large. Thanks, McCloyd. Always hooking extra us large. up. Thanks, Lou. Thanks, Lou. Whoa, look at this. Let's see. It actually looks like somebody I just need to put one of Brad's joints in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Heaven and hell. Nice. The two of you don't ever open shit Excellent. properly. Oh, that's sick. That's fucking awesome, man. Yeah, they are. Thanks, Adam. Thanks, Adam. Yeah, I like that Great, one, too. These are fucking sick. nice. They're Heaven and hell. Jason, turn around. XL. sick, bro. Man. And the shorts are mine, he asked me, so I need them. Yeah, he was asking me what your size was. Yeah. What is? What was it? Large? I can fit anywhere from. Actually, I can I I, I can fit in smaller. Actually, I'll take them. This is a oh my fucking god! Just grab the dims. Oh, that's great. Yeah, thanks for nice. having everybody. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. He wasn't leaving here empty-handed, no. you cocksucker. Kill yourself. What did he say? What did that <laughs> drop, dead. drop dead? <laughs> I've never seen anybody gifted like that in life. <laughs> but Jason... That's better than Gideon sending you to $3. You talk about these little millennials. Jason sit here and took it. And he hung in here and he waited for more gifts. He didn't run and cry. What do you mean he hung in here? If there was nothing else here, he would have been out the fucking door. That's the only reason why yeah, he stayed he, here. He wouldn't have left in tears like some little millennial snowflake. That That's true. Leonard, he, was, he, was, he, was, he was throwing a fit. I've seen Jason, the comments people talk about him online... Or the most disgusting things you can right, say. That's what I meant when I, yeah. Jason, it's your living proof that bullying makes you, it's, you're gonna, it comes from you. What are you going to do with it? You turn it the other way, now you're more successful than other. Mm -hmm. So that's why I admire you, Jason. Yeah. Holy hell, he's like a freaking refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> freaking refrigerator. Jason, your credibility <laughs> you build just up. went up through the roof. <laughs> yeah. And I'm impressed. Yep. Deplorable, dehumanizing names and no one really should be called, but. Happens on a daily basis, and you just shrug it off. You're an enabling fuck. You know that. Well, that's all right. If I could he be, needs a, that, he needs that. If I could be a part, you're, of, you're like one of the only ones that if give I could him be any a positive of, re reinforcement. That's well, great. if I could be just a small part of Jay's Jason's Freudian slip, rise to the top of the universe. <laughs> I'm coming along for the ride. Good. Jason rules the world. <laughs> now it's time to rule the universe. You rule. This is my galaxy, my throne. Rise as a Sith Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I must you must take the, I'm taking the throne I'm taking the whole fitness and I can see technology Lord. where the Sith Lord will never die and he'll end up is the emperor of the galaxy. I'm taking control. Of will you fucking stop it I'm now? Taking control of <laughs> God God damn I'm it. taking control. I'm taking control of all the shows in the whole world of fitness now. <laughs> oh. I'm controlling them. Oh my God. I'll do what the Thank fuck you. I please with them. Thank you, Lenny. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Lenny. People will be jacked instead of small cookie cutter small fries. Jacked and healthy and having fun. Yeah. Instead of looking like a cookie cutter with washboard ass dining out like a bunch of bimbos every day. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be a freak of bimbo. A, a freak than a crackhead on meth. Referring to anyone in particular. <laughs> so what do you want me to sign here? Oh, when are you leaving? I think I'm gonna leave now. I'm getting tired. <laughs> <laughs> but he's still going to go and do cardio. I just can't. Um, your, your dedication is just, and your will is just unbreakable. It is unbreakable. Fuck what people say. God damn it, Lenny. <laughs> That's good, though. Lenny's like the, the Tony Robbins of Delray Beach. <laughs> Let me see. Lou, Lou's turning into Tony Robbins. Hey, that's not a bad gimmick. No, hell no, man. Let me, see the, let me see the things that want me to Man, quite the living doing you that know shit. shit. And see. Andrew Kalora just introduced me to Dan Pena, who's fantastic. Yeah, that guy is funny. I enjoy watching this shit. You want to sign it now? That's yeah, a I tough old man. Doesn't think Jason, so. you can't... You can, listen, sure. you can't leave before you answer some of these questions real quick. Yeah. All right? The Universal Order. Fantastic apparel. No, yeah, very nice. Non-cookie like cutter, shirts. cutting edge. Perfect material. Like I said, the shorts are, you can squat in them. They don't rip. <clears throat> oh, boy. I try, they say, the cookie cutters. I used to hear that so much in the, in the 80s and 70s. Give him a chance. He's trying. Like the bum that couldn't hit in Little League Baseball. Hey, 
Shut up. He's trying. Yeah, he tried his best. What the hell? <laughs> Show me I tried. What the hell is that supposed to mean? We had one in here. Oh, man, I got to find it. When are the T-shirts restocking? I don't know. We're, we're in the process of letting of having somebody else take that over because we don't have time for it. But it'll be the same site and all that shit. Will we ever see Lenny as the Hulk in the next Avengers movie? If they were smart, they'd do it. <laughs> Hamburg says you're looking jacked. Thanks, Hamburg. Yeah, what's you, the question? You ain't seen what's, nothing yet. What's the question? And it's nothing if you get my drift. I'll see you in April, Hamburg. And I hope you'll be done. No, I think he's going to be here in June. June. So what's the questions you have for me? How old was Jason when he lost his virginity? That was uh, last year, 32, right? Yeah, I lost it last year. I think he <laughs> lost it at age five, but that's another story. Got any questions? Give me the question. Did the priest diddle you or something? <laughs> Ask Jason why he blocked me when I refused Lee, please, to send Because they trolled me. Chad Ladd. Ask Jason why he blocked me when There's I refused There's a reason for you talk, talking shit. Oh, boy. Jason, I don't know if you know, but Andrew Kalora said, unless you have a business or family, it's no real reason to block anybody. Who cares? That's right. Yeah. And her grandson, like, Nate. No, no, the no, new no, boys no. of Brazil, Nate Figs. Flank steak shit. The Lord blocked me for complimenting on his epic piss stain. Can you guys... Get him to unblock me. I'm, Think about it. I'm him. a legit fan and have followed him from the beginning. Flank steak shit. Uh, DRB X Gold. Me too, please. Do you really go through every comment of every post? You do? Isn't that time consuming? Do it. They said you won that girl's heart, Alyssa Racine. She likes me. I'm a nice one. They said, how about that turd cutter on Alyssa Racine? <laughs> Whoa, I like that name. <laughs> turd cutter? Yeah. Hit her in the shitter like Tex Ritter did her. <laughs> Excuse me. That's, I never heard never that heard before. That. Wow, this non-cookie cutter vernacular is exciting me. Oh, my God. Ask Jason if he tongue-punched Mystery Girl Fat Box. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean, Jason? I don't know. No idea. And I don't want to know. She's not going to let you. Yes, you do. <laughs> what girl question wouldn't for, want? Question for Lord Cucumber. Has Bree Harper come down yet? Loyal fans are unfortunately entitled to it. No. <laughs> um. Who can take the most inches of cucumber? Jason, Jay, or Lenny? <laughs> How many inches? <laughs> Jason, he takes the cake on that one. Why is Jason <laughs> blowing kisses to Brett these days? Who cares? My fans like it. You blew me one this morning, too. It's funny. Also, the Freakier by the Day series is fire, I'm Lord. That's from Scott Jung. You nice. probably have him blocked, yeah, too. But yeah, yeah. I it, like that. Thank you, Scott Jung. He's the one who sent you the uh, fake iPhone. Yeah, that was, that was, that was funny, actually. <laughs> FX Migs. Tell Jason thanks for resurrecting the mints. No problem. Gladly. No problem. <laughs> a lot, those are a lot of these comments in here. Yeah. M Long 29. Thank you, I'm Lord, for the mint renaissance. No problem. Carry that torch, Chief. I'm carrying it proud. Ask Janoy about his new Koth baby. What? Who's new Koth baby? I have no idea. Who knows? Why did Lou's SARM site get shut down? He sold the business. Is this, the site's down now? No, it's not down. Okay. What happened to Jesse Ventura and what did Lenny think of him? He's a little out there. I don't agree totally with him, but he speaks his mind. He's not a cookie cutter and he makes life interesting. He doesn't go along with the rest of them. But ultimately, like everybody else, he's just out for himself. Okay, Braden CSTW. Ask Jason why he won't answer my text. I have his lightsaber we talked about. He will know what it is, Darth Vader versus Frodo. I know him, yeah. I, I stopped texting him because um, I think my phone was just being blown up by him. Every, he was calling me a lot. I got really kind of like turned off. But I'll call him when I'm ready. Brad, will you please compete against Jason? No. That was a quick no. How much would it cost for one of Was your... that a surrender? Yeah. So I surrender. He wins. You're smarter than we thought, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going on. It's fucking gay. How much would it cost for one of y'all to eat a cucumber salad sandwich made by Janoy? <laughs> <laughs> Have you stopped putting vegetables up your ass? Yes. I'm being a good boy now. <laughs> well, if you, if, you, if you do do it, just don't film it or take pictures of it. Mm, private. And show. what did I tell you about that? If they want to see your dick, what, what was the rule we talked in about person. years ago? In person. Right. Yep. Unless it's going in one of their holes, the mouth, pussy, <laughs> or asshole, that's the only way they're seeing your cock. Mm -hmm. That's the. That's it. Mm -hmm. End of conversation. <laughs> yep. Well, any more questions? 
<laughs> In one ear, out the other. Where's Jane been? Is she's, your mom okay? She's fine. What happened? Wasn't she in the hospital last week? She has heart problems. She was in the hospital She has last heart week. problems. She was had, she? She had a small heart attack, mini heart attack. They wait, said, wait, wait, wait. Your mom had a heart attack? A minor heart attack, yep. Why didn't you tell me about this? I didn't know. She just told me today. Was, cool. it was oh, like, shit. No, the doctor said she had a mild heart. It was undetectable. You can't even detect it. It was so rare. Mild, yeah. She, they need to monitor her. She How long a, was she in the hospital for? A day. She had a mild stroke. A stroke, a stroke or, or, or a, heart. Mild, a mild, there we go. A mild yeah. heart attack. Yeah, her, her she has she has uh she has a problem with her heart. Yeah. Go find yeah, me a for stroke James and heart a heart attack, attack are she two had, very she, different. No, things. she had a, she had a, she had a stroke. What did, do you know what a stroke is? Well, her heart over pumped and it went high, and she had a stroke, a mini stroke. Yeah. <laughs> she had a, she has a she has something wrong with her heart. The EKG is fucking all fucked is up. Is your mom okay? Yeah, but she's got to okay. be monitored. All right. Okay. Fine. That's all I care about. Will you sign up, Jason, to the Biggest Loser? <laughs> Bootsy Calora, ask Andrew the top ways to improve credit, and if he believes in the positive that's effects good, of jelking. That's of good. whating? How do you spell that? I don't know what jelking is. Yeah. How to improve your credit? Uh, take your highest, take your debt with the highest interest rate, and pay that off first. Number one, and number two, don't get any. Credit don't cards. get in. The, don't credit cards are the devil. Don't buy what you don't need. Right. And don't buy it if you can't afford it or pay cash. This credit card debt. And I want to say something here. I'm glad yeah. I, I'm glad to my fans I'm making them happy and supplying mints for them. So, you know, I think they deserve it. Mints. Minty. Mints. Yeah, how about not putting fucking 100 ads in each the, video, you greedy fuck? They're entitled. They're entitled to mints. <laughs> do you hear me? <laughs> we, we talked about this with him this morning. He's going to do whatever he wants to do, so it doesn't matter. Get ad block. Oh, oh you guys... no, you shouldn't. Oh, no. You can't get ad block on your phone. Relax. Most people watch it on their phone anyway. Why are you doing this? <laughs> You're creating problems. Relax, asshole. Like, they don't know what it is anyway. Mm. Whoever's going to use it is going to use it. And whoever isn't, isn't. Well, that's some, but the people it. that complain about it, that's all they need to do. You know what, Jason? I'll tell you what. If if you put out good quality content, the people who do use ad block will probably <clears> stop <throat> using it to reward you for the good content. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If, if you if you consistently put out good content, what I have it what you're doing, and you're going to continue doing, people are going to want you to get. At least in my opinion, I think people will want you to make a little money. So, if they might even unblock, you know, un, not use their ad block. <laughs> Christian text. He said, "Podcast without any dabs. What is this? Tell them to bring some over. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them the drone dropped them on my front lawn." Uh. <clears throat> They think you're G'd out, Leonard. If I was, I'd let you know. I don't know. Somebody asked me if the gear you get is real or bunk. Some of it is real. Some of it is. Some of it? Like 80% of it is. I just have to... So most, of it, most, of, most of it is real. Most what, of it is what, real. Okay, so... Why are you playing with your tits? What 20% is it? Probably... Some of just the hard stuff to get, like 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 the HGH <clears throat> is partially real fragments of it. Are you paying for that? Yeah, you're paying for you're knowingly you're, paying for fake shit. And you're shit. putting it in your body, knowing it's not that fake. It's, it's fragments. It's not the whole. It's not fragment means it's partial growth hormone. It's not the full thing. It's part. It's, it's GRP six. It's partial growth. Lenny, what is GRP six? Well, that's, that's a growth hormone releasing peptide that also increases appetite and has heart protective values. Mm. It make it can make your pituitary secrete more. Mm. So it's real as far as that category goes. It's a partial. But it's a little different from synthetic GH. Yeah. Some say it's better. Some say it's not as effective. It's good because it increases your natural levels. I'm just afraid Jason's going to end up like Jared Leto in Requiem for a Dream. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see that? No, I, I saw that movie all fucked up and that just was like... He, Jared Leto plays a junkie and at the very end he, he loses his arm to gangrene. <laughs> I see, like one of the Wayans brothers is in that yeah. too. Well, I think it's Marlon Wayans. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go, guys. <laughs> Good movie. Gangrene and frostbite. Yeah, you know, I don't want any parts yeah. of that. Jason, you're leaving. Yeah, I want to talk to you. Somebody. You want to talk to me? Yeah. We're outside. Yeah, outside. Uh, don't forget your jewelry. Yeah, my bling. Did you sign those uh, pictures? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really did. Yeah. Alberto, we're working <clears throat> on it, buddy. Can I take the bag? I'll little by little, Alberto. Yeah, take the bag. That's fine. Jesus Christ. All right. He's gonna steal a bunch of shit. <laughs> He's on his gonna go around my neighborhood. Yeah. Stealing tire valve caps on cars. <laughs> he's gonna take some of your dishes now while he's in the kitchen. <laughs> he fucking dirty. <laughs> I'll be there at like six fifteen tomorrow, right? right? Don't text me in the morning. Just if you come and go, if not <laughs> He wants the uh drop dead thing edited out. Huh? He wants a drop dead comment edited out. 
Bye, baby. Fucking dope. <laughs> what a fucking baby. He's mad that I said something. I told people to say ad block. <laughs> He's yelling at Andrew right now. <laughs> that hurt. What, like these people don't know what fucking ad block is. I mean, come on. The computer that I got, it's already installed in there. It's yeah. great. But on your phone, it just pops up. Plus, no matter what, when you see ads, what do you do? Skip ad. Yeah. As soon as you can. I so, sure. Of course. So what'd you do for New Year's, Leonard? Slept. I, I called you. I was, I was trying to get you to come out. You said you I would like to. I, I should have went out. I couldn't sleep anyway with that idiot with the band. You said you had like flu symptoms or something. Yeah, like yeah. I still still down about. Idiot with the band? What happened? Next door with the band. Couldn't sleep. Had the bass going. Playing music for nine hours that day. Till what time? Two. Then I went look through the fence. They're shooting guns into, handguns into bales of hay. <laughs> So I was going to go over there and say, shut the fucking thing up or wail an egg over right in the middle of them. Yeah, well, while, they're sh while they're shooting guns. Great idea. Yeah, exactly. Drinking and shooting. Fuck it. Third world fucking scum. <laughs> you can get away with that shit on July 4th and New Year's because they sound like just like well, loud firecrackers. Anyway. Shouldn't get away with that anything, any of that bullshit. I hate it. I'm not, I'm not real cookie cutter. <laughs> He's sitting there asking about his numbers. How much is he going to make this month? Uh... He's all excited because uh, Adam Harper said he's going to come Monday and train with us at 8 on Monday. <clears throat> I'm supposed to be off that day, but I might work if I work. Well, Jesus Christ. Yeah, my God, man. You can hear him all the way. In. That All that shit that he just said probably got picked up by one of these mics, you know. He's so, he's so paranoid. Uh, We've said ad block every time he's here. Everybody, whoever wants to get it already knows what they have to do. Everything he just wanted to talk to me about in the driveway we talked about it, I think, three or four times this morning at the gym. Of course. He just needs to, to keep hearing the reassurance over and over and over, which I give him. Mind of a child, man. They badger the fuck out of you until they get their way. Yeah. What happened to Lenny's pancake pecs? Are they still around? Here, I'll let you. I want to thank... J I already thanked Jay Masters in your live stream this morning, but I want to thank him again. He, During a live stream he did last week, he was talking about the benefits of doing a close grip incline press with the barbell and I have an impingement now on my right shoulder which is a bitch I've had him now for five weeks and today Mine lasted like fucking seven months yours did my mm. shoulder and so I tried it today to take emphasis off my shoulder you know a nice narrow grip incline press it was great I was able to do it no pain felt more emphasis in a tricep you know 12 to 15 <clears throat> reps kept it light so listen to Jay boys and girls he knows his shit until he until he starts <laughs> yeah no. until he gets tuned up then while, while like, he's lucid right he does have some good advice yeah what do you, <laughs> actually my shoulder was fucked up for a while and i started shooting that uh what was that peptide that's for human use the for one, uh for research purposes research purposes. i did some right. research with some what was it bpc <laughs> 157 i have no what idea what it? you're talking about okay whatever it was and it, it was good <laughs> Gives a fuck. The shit works. Who cares? So where are these questions and comments on Instagram? Let me go on here. Yeah. Now I got all these DMs. He was getting real fucking antsy. When he when he saw me open that and saw the five bucks come out, <laughs> he got so excited. He's like, nothing for me. Nothing for me. And Salvatore Drop knew that. He knew that. <laughs> Salvatore knew that. A Adam McLeod, I'm concerned those podcast cables look easily kickable. When we did it a few weeks ago, when we had the laser pointer light and Kimbo was chasing it around the house, he almost ran through the extension cord here and it would have we would have lost power to the whole podcast so you're right adam <laughs> <laughs> we just gotta keep but kimbo out of here almost he doesn't that shit in. yeah that's great we got good fans man somebody asked about did you see that mayweather fight that uh oriental guy over there i just saw pictures i didn't see video of it it was a three minute fight mayweather knocked him out how about stupid. what happened to uh Kat Zingano in that fight we, you and I went out to watch where she got toenail poked in the eye. Oh, yeah, that's right. Did you hear what happened to her? No. They thought it was just a scrape on her eyelid. She, I, I, um, I forgot about that no, fight, so you she, just brought it up. She, she had to go on prednisone because she was her, um, the, it, it totally fucked up the pressure in the back of her eye. They're afraid her, her retina might detach. No, no shit. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not just a little. Ugh. That makes me cringe just thinking about getting yeah. fucking uh, toenails. Imagine if Jason kicked somebody in the eye with his fucking toenail. <laughs> it's a fucking weapon. 
Those fights were good, though. I'm, I, I yeah. was shocked that Nunez knocked Cyborg out that yeah. quick, man. But Nunez, man, she's a strong bitch, dude. And Dana White's not down for a rematch either. He said no, no. He said, really? he said we're moving on. Moving on to who? I don't know. Those are the two best. A man? I don't know. Yeah, no shit. Maybe she can fight Dillashaw next or something. Cyborg looks like a fucking dude. Yeah, I, I'd be curious to see what's underneath those drawers. <laughs> I, it's the traps. You know, in addition to the facial features, like the cheekbones and whatnot, she's got traps like a man. You very rarely see trapezius muscles on a woman like Cyborg has. And Nunez looked a little soft, too. Yeah, she, she put did. on like 10 pounds. She went up in weight to fight her and beat her fucking ass. That girl's, man, she's legit. Yeah. I don't see anybody beating us. We should go to American Top Team one day. What's that? 25 minutes from here? That's where they all train, Nunez. Yeah. Well, when they train, they put up like a curtain because my nephew used to go there and train. Uh, Jason's new videos with Brad and Aunt, with Brad, Lenny, and Andrew have been the best lately. Reminds me of the old videos from the beginning. More of those, please. Done. It's fun. It, it's fun again. Yeah, you know, we're having a good time. We don't is. mind doing it, you know. Jason will push the boundary. I mean, he will push us to the limit, though. He gets a little too too much sometimes yeah, we have to corral him a little bit in the right. gym like we're, we're you know, it is la fitness so we are still kind of you know on pins and needles a little bit about being as open with the filming as you were in world gym but so far so good yeah and people i feel like people are getting used to us too yeah a lot of the people will you know look at us and laugh Oh, Christ. What? Here come the fucking Snapchat callers. God damn it. Whenever I post something while we're doing it on Instagram, then the Snapchat jig. Question for Brad and Andrew. I'm 34 and thinking about trying gear. As novices, what do you recommend I start with? Don't ask me. I, I don't know anything about this stuff. What do you recommend I start with and how much should I be paying? Uh, uh, start with just a... Just start with test. 250 milligrams sipinate costs you about 80 bucks on the street for a 10 milliliter bottle. See, but you also have to get an Astrozolf in case you get, you know, nipple tenderness or whatever. The guy's 34. He's never done a gear. What should he start with? I don't think you should take uh, more than 500. But what you said sounds correct. Just to start, you know, just to yeah. a little bit. Somebody actually here, this guy Conrad on Snapchat just messaged me. Hey, Brad, please tell Lenny to look into GW501516, also yeah, called so Carterine. Yeah. This will help his breathing like nothing else. Also very helpful during trend cycle. Thank you. I appreciate that. I just actually was taking it during my bridge. Oh, so you did try it. Okay. Thank you very much. What will Jason be training with Adam on Monday? And is this a one-off event or could potentially there be more Koth Adam videos to come? Well, I reached out to Adam last week. On Jason's behalf, Jason asked me to text Adam, so I did. I said, hey, Jason's got this funny new series, and he's interested if you, you know, he wants to know if you're willing to make a cameo in a video. And, and I was expecting Adam to say, well, you know, we'll see, maybe one day. And he was like, yeah, absolutely, say when and where. I was like, damn, okay, Monday, 8 a.m. He said, I'll be there, just tell me where. So if Adam has fun and we have a good time filming, maybe Adam will do it more. As for what they're going to train, I have no idea. That's up to them. Let Adam put him through whatever workout yeah, he wants. I'm just going to shut up and film. That's it. I know what they're going to train. Fingers and thumb. <laughs> that was at least that's one that thing was, Jason that might think All right. This kid high times on uh, Snapchat. Tell Lenny for me on the podcast. He needs to just quit all the gear and just eat big. Stay healthy for us. He's an awesome person and we all love him. Gear will keep you healthy too. It just, you know, my health is quite, of, quite uh, different in a way where... It's not so much unhealthy, it's just maybe some side effects. Look at all these but if I was so unhealthy, struggles. I would have been dead. If what? If I was that unhealthy, I wouldn't have been almost 50, the old as I am. <clears throat> Somebody's going to call in and wants to tell us about his bedroom bully experience. Who? Somebody on Snapchat. Hopefully it's not some... A bedroom some, bully experience? Ho it's bedroom bully shirt experience. Hopefully it's not some asshole waving his fucking cock around. Actually, Leonard would probably like that. What's up, buddy? You're on the podcast. Oh, shit. What's going on, Brad? How you doing, buddy? Got yeah. a Andrew and Lenny are here, too. What's up? What happened to Jason? He couldn't... Ho he's got no fucking attention span. We, op we opened some gifts, and he and he bugged out and got the fuck out of here. <laughs> he went to quote-unquote oh, do cardio. He had to go do cardio. Oh, okay. Did you put his watches back on? <laughs> yeah, Andrew had to remind him to get his jewelry. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is probably... 
probably like a few months ago in the gym with the bedroom bully shirt. You know, I get some looks every now and then. No one says anything. <laughs> and then this one 60-year-old woman, absolutely horribly out of shape, starts glancing at me and my friend. And finally, she comes up to me and says, I can't believe you're wearing that shirt in a co-ed gym. That's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. What'd you tell her? I said, it's my right to wear it. Get the fuck away from me. There you go. <laughs> boy. There you go. And I think, I think she told the, the head staff, because then they started walking over to me, looking at my shirt, and walking away. So. No shit. Yeah. They didn't say anything. Tattletales running the staff. Sounds familiar. I talked to him later. Hey, you did the right thing. Short and sweet. It's my right. Get the hell away from me. She, she, she's harassing you. Yeah, I know. Maybe one of these days I get to go down and meet you guys. That would be very fun. It sure would. Where are you, where are you going to be coming from? The Boston area. Oh. Yeah. Bean Town. You ever been there, Leonard? No, but my father was there at Boston College. Yeah, it's not too far away from me. Yeah. Thank you for having me on the podcast. Yeah, man. Thanks sure. for your story. That's you good. know Kevin Sullivan? From where? Boston. Like, there's probably a fucking million the Sullivans wrestler, in fucking... Kevin Sullivan. I was say, the wrestler oh, from okay. the 80s. Yeah. Never heard of her. You ever heard of Kevin Sullivan? He was married to uh, Nancy Benoit originally. Benoit Balls. That was, his, my, that was my hottest girl crush at the time. They called her the Fallen Angel. Look up Nancy online. Ben- it's Kevin Sullivan, the oh, Fallen actually, Angel. Actually, I, just did, I do remember something. Yeah. I hear you talk about, uh, what's his name, Ricky Williams all the time? Yeah. <laughs> his daughter literally lives less than 100 yards from where I'm standing right now. Is she hot? All right. <laughs> she's, she's good looking? Yes. The former NFL player, Ricky Get Williams. It, take a picture and send it to Brad's phone, would you please? <laughs> <laughs> you could probably find it online, you fucking dipshit. What's her name? When he drops the mic. A <laughs> hundred yards away, I'd be looking, doing some peeping toms if I were you. <laughs> How do you know he's not? That's true. <laughs> I've tried again. Is she mixed? Yes. She's she got to be. She's got to be. He doesn't, he doesn't do go that route. Well. Don't do go that weird, route. Weird, I'll, I'll, I'll yeah, send him a picture of her in some tight <laughs> yoga pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, Ricky. That's great. Show us something else here. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, send man. a picture as soon as possible. <laughs> have a good night up there. Don't get too cold. Yeah, it's, it's freezing. Yeah, you I can have it. There. Yeah, no shit. Naked and out outside her window, jerking off a busting an ice ice load on her window. <laughs> all right, so what do you think about that, Ricky? You hear some of this man, while you're all stoned, Ricky? Right, you dope fiend. Can't lay off the weed, can you, Ricky? He was better when and, he was and, smoking weed, and it's actually now legal in Massachusetts, just like in uh, Nev- just like in Nevada. Yeah, that's why you get callers like that. With no sense, <laughs> no brains in their head. You're such a sick fuck. You're gonna go to do- <laughs> you want to go <laughs> <laughs> fucking beeping Tom. <laughs> and Ricky, you can put on that drag outfit you had on this cover of Sports Illustrated, where you were the uh, bride with Mike Dick as a groom. Yeah. You're the biggest drug addict on Instagram. It's a message. Why don't you get off off that couch and brush your teeth, you drug addict? It's a video. It's not live. It's not live. It's not live. Look at that 10-inch arm. (laughs) Who the fuck is that guy? Look at this fucking drug bag. You see him? If you got here, I would literally, I'd punish you and dismember you. You little jerk, he called you. Of course, miles away. Yeah. They're all tough. They're all tough. After sticking in heroin in oh, his veins. Oh, boy. You know he's fucking joking. No, he's serious. He's a fucking junkie. He's got a nice bicep peak going on. I don't yeah, know. for a fucking <laughs> Ethiopian. <laughs> uh, look at Triggered Leonard. Do you even go on Instagram anymore? You don't do anything, do you? I don't think I can. Why? It's not set up correctly. Oh, well, Wait, the, the new account isn't set up correctly? What no, happened? like before, I just don't get as much material. What do you mean? Define material. The stuff that comes to me. What do you mean? But I you can think. log into it, right? Yeah. And you can post to it, and you can go live and things like that? Yeah, I could, but I don't like going live. The quality sucks. The pi- picture, and you got that writing on it. It's horrible. There's a cunting warrior with a K 
95. Tell Lenny to keep up the fight and keep on motivating us. Big Fran from Newcastle, England. Newcastle beer. That's what I was drinking the other night when we were watching the fights. That's one. Of the, that's a good one. Which we know what your preference is. When's the last time you drank beers? Last Friday. That's it. Yeah, seven buds <laughs> and two tablespoons. Where'd you go? Paradise. And I drank the G just as I left the house. It takes like ten minutes to bike over there. Lock up my bike. I'm feeling it a little bit walking into paradise. The security guard finally used the metal detector. How come you don't do that to the white man when he comes here? Because he'd open the door for me. I think somebody said something to him. And uh, occasion, Matt Ray just came up and she says, what do you drink? I'll take a bucket special, which is five beers. And uh, I took a sip of that thing and I got shot out like a cannon. That G went over the blood brain barrier so fast, probably because of the carbs and the beer. That G kicked in like a son of a bitch, and I was just walking from girl to girl. She's there sitting with guys, husband, whoever, I don't care. So I stopped a group of girls, a group of five at a table, they were eating and drinking. <laughs> Looked to be in their late tw mid 20s. And I'm walking around looking at them, they're looking at me scared to death, but they're keeping an eye like that. And I said, Could I sit down? Because there's like one more sis. And she said, Sure. I said, What's your name? I said, Get metal line. I said, I must be dead because this looks like I'm in heaven with a group of angels. Gosh. And they love that, of course. Every girl does. <laughs> I'll say, I, I'm, I have to pinch myself, you know? What's funny is when he does that shit, he's so fucking serious I and know. into it. I know. It's great. Like, I right know. now, the way he's saying it's not, but I know. I've seen it. It's fucking So great. they're asking me questions, and what do you do? I said, I'm, a, I'm on YouTube. And they're all looking up Big Lenny. What are you, a wrestler? <laughs> I said, better. So they're like, we're going to head on out of here. He says, come with us to the car. I said, sure. So I walked to their car. Two girls sat, one, two in the front, two in the back. And four chicks. I can only imagine. Right by the, the car. You know, I actually like, I walked out with a beer and the security sure guard says, you don't get robbed. The security yeah. guard says, you can't take that. You can't take that out here. And I says, oh, okay. But the, the girl's sitting there in the front seat and she's out of blue. Let me see your cock. I said, sure. I pulled my elastic pants and I pulled it out. It was semi hard. Oh, good. Okay. And I see all the phones go out. They're all taking pictures. That's you. Did, wait, this is this past weekend? Asshole. Last Friday. And uh, <sighs> the one girl in the front seat starts flicking it, like over and over again. <laughs> then the other one, the passenger, starts doing this to the testicles, you know, the up and down. Cup in your move. balls? Yeah, cup. And she goes, I want to see it get really hard. I says, I'll try. I'll do my best. And then. Uh, oh, my God. You should have said, why don't you make it get her? And then, exactly. And then I'm looking at the other cars because everybody goes out to do the Brad, you know, which everyone knows what that means. You no. Know, what? Everybody leaves the bar to go out to do the Brad and then come back in, if you know what that means. <laughs> so that devil's lettuce? <laughs> yeah, you got a lot of I common... think they smoke inside the fucking car. Some do. Do the okay. Brad. <laughs> but, uh, and then the girl says, let me see your asshole. So I turned around quickly, opened it up. And, and she... you're in the middle of the parking lot standing next yeah. to a car where you're Not in front down. of the, like two, two rows back. There's a tree there. So I just bent over and, drew, and I bent over and spread the cheeks. And the girl on the passenger side, she's kind of cute. Could even be 20 years old. She said, why is your asshole so big? I said, because I got, <laughs> probably because I got big turds coming out. And then the girls in the back are like, get in the back. So I came, it was an old oh, Buick. You, you, you passed the test? Yeah. Big like, asshole, yeah. semi-hard cock. Yeah. All right, here. come in the car. Because the, the girls are like, get in the back. So I got in the back, it's like a big Buick. The one got out, so I got in the middle of the two. And I, then I had my dick out and stuff, and they're jerking it off. One's playing with my balls. What time was this? <laughs> Probably around 12. Close at 2, so. Oh, you have plans tomorrow They were night, saying buddy? they were gonna, they went to go to a place down on Federal and then go to a hotel. You can practically walk there from my house. I was house. even going to have them come over to my house say, fuck it, I just need someone to mop the floor. Don't mind the floor, girls. Everything <laughs> else is pristine. So, and then the other girl's like, she says, pull your pants down all the way to your knees. So I did. And she's like, turn over. It's the other one. I got the finger. She started fingering your asshole? Yeah, just like that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And the other one was cute. The one in the back, rear, right hind side. It was very cute and gorgeous, innocent look. So you're, like, bending over the They're back fingering seat. away while I had my pants down to my ankles, and I'm turning like this. Okay. And I'm getting the finger. Then I turn over the other side. The other girls give me the finger. And that's pretty good. And the other girls... They're taking pictures on the phone in the front. Oh my so hopefully they'll unload it and the maniacs can witness it. What are you? <laughs> Jesus. But oh my God. did at least anybody suck you off? Or did what, you fuck anybody? Well, they wanted to go to a hotel. Okay. Or so the, the I think it was basically going to be everybody to each other. You know, you know, what, want, want. Were the windows tinted? 
Yeah, they were tentative. I mean, I remember going to, <laughs> to get you the animal in the back of their car and finger your butthole. That's normal. That's normal. For okay. Them. Beautiful. That's nothing. We got a golf tomorrow. <laughs> I got no plans tomorrow night. <laughs> That's nothing. But and then I, they're like, "You gonna come with us?" I said, "I said to be honest, unless you guys don't tie me up and take you with you, I'm gonna go and you, I'm gonna go and talk to as many new girls as I can because I like the variety." Just being honest. And they said, "Okay." She took my number, got out of the car, and I said, "That was too easy." I was actually disappointed, believe it or not. So you I don't didn't like get too easy. You didn't even get a nut. Well, it takes me a long time to get a nut. You know that. I, but I actually, I'm very curious to see what these bitches look like. Not bad. Not bad. That means they're probably fucking <laughs> animals. No. They actually weren't. How no, fat were they? Not, not obese. Really? One was kind of chubby. Well, like I said, one was gorgeous. One was cute. One was a little bitch, but on a scale of one to ten, <laughs> one was a little I would bitch. say collectively, they're about a seven. And they were taking video and photos. Oh, as soon as that dick came out, the phones came, you know. What the fuck? Wouldn't you love to see the captions on our Snapchats? What do you think they were? I saw the picture. All I saw was my hands, you know, spread my butt cheeks. Oh and I see this big ass. Man. I was like, damn, that's a big squatter's ass. But she said the hole was abnormally large. So so that was just... This I guess she was trying to infer that I get fucked up in the ass and she was... Well, how many ass, how many assholes does she look at? Yeah, no, exactly. How many guys got the balls to do that? Oh. I had a girl make my butthole bleed bad. I'd hook her make it bleed bad. She's feeling me. <laughs> there was blood everywhere. <laughs> uh, but it heals, you know, the tissue heals. <laughs> it heals, Brad. Uh, Brad, it uh, heals. Uh, <laughs> it heals. <laughs> Especially uh, if you got hemorrhoids. It actually feels pretty good. I was actually surprised. I said, this was, it wasn't that hard. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't. What do you mean? It just it wasn't. It's too easy. It's a turn off. Too, 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 too easy. So, all right. Well, so you went, <laughs> you did I, that, and then you went back into the bar and finished your beer? Went back into the bar, and that's when everybody starts, the girls start dancing real nasty at the end of the for the song, pending over. Laying on the table, I got a girl on my left and right. They'll come up. They want me to start conversation with them, but I don't. I'm looking at the ass. Girls come in with ripped jeans and stuff with guys. I'm eyeing them up. And is it all black? Except me, yeah. No shit. You are the only white person. Well, the there. white bartender uh, okay. with the beard. Holy shit! You're in fucking. It's like that all the time. Fucking, you're in fucking heaven, huh? Oh well, the thing yeah. was, you know, it was going to be a problem because when I'm t sitting at that girl's table, this black he keeps staring at me. I said, "What the fuck are you looking at?" <laughs> and the girl's like, Don't. "I said I could destroy anybody in this fucking bar." <laughs> And he said nothing. Lenny, you should go there wearing a GoPro camera on your head. It's not a bad idea. It'd probably make you turn it off, though. You try. Well, you have that little one. Yeah. You could, like, yeah, clip if you it on one his shirt. Steel, it would be a good know. idea. Yeah, clip it onto your shirt or something. That'd be a very good idea. You get some good mats where you're seeing from what I'm seeing. Right. Exactly. Oh, and Jack Stein, you little smart ass. When I did a live there, very, very briefly for two minutes, you're the first one to get on and says, "You call me a cookie cutter. You're out at a nightclub drinking." No, Jack Stein, there's a meeting. You're taking things out of context, Mr. Men's Bikini up there in Orlando. Who's Jack Stein? Uh, he competed at the Ruby. I think it was last year or the year, yeah, the year before. There's a reason I'm doing that. He met us when we went to Orlando, we went to that restaurant. Okay. So you day. may go out to those cookie cutter places in Orlando and, you know. What's the meaning? You were at a bar drinking. At to a show you what, drinking. to show you, first of all, it was to show that how many white guys go in there and do this? Go in there and run the show. Go up to any woman with, with the, she's with any guy that's black, stare at her. And it, <laughs> His face twitched. Yeah, just, yeah. That's, that's the old. It's like a Brad, if you They don't fuck with the crazy white boy. No, it's not that. They're just pussies. How would you feel <laughs> if you didn't know me and you're with your ex girl, some cookie cutter club in Atlantic Avenue, which you frequent, and I came up and just start talking and staring and ignored you? What would you do? That's a good question. It is a good question. It is. Well, since I know you, obviously, but yeah, I don't know. Well, since you'd know me, the right thing would have been to say, hey, can you ruin my girl? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I'd be glad to. <laughs> or have me come go in and make her, th go make her think you're side. doing it. Yeah. Turn around and there you are. Yeah. <sighs> the rimming machine. That's like an animal house. Do you mind if we dance with your dates? Remember that? <laughs> sure. Go ahead. You know the scene, right? Yeah. Look that scene up, guys. Oh well, maybe animal that, house. Maybe that's what 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 did us in is I wouldn't I wouldn't eat the booty hole. 
You said it, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. That was the coup de gras. Win some, you lose some, Leonard. That's it. What can you do? Life goes on. Yeah, unfortunately. But then there are regrets. Regrets. There's always regrets. We all have regrets. What can you do? <laughs> Uh, what else we got here? Oh, we we talked about the USC, the fights. John Jones, nobody's fucking beating him. He should move. No. Up, he should move up the heavyweight, Absolutely. in my opinion. Hey, what do you think, Lenny? Of all this, what's the guy's name on the Steelers who's causing all this trouble? Antonio Brown. Yeah. What do you? What's what's your what take did he on do that? now? I didn't even see. He, he got into an altercation with Big Ben. He called some ESPN reporter an Uncle Tom. Did you see that? Yeah, right. ex Steeler. Right. Uh, Ryan Clark. Yes. He was a cornerback. Uh, he's you know. He knew it. He even said it to a coach years ago when Mike Wallace got signed by the Dolphins. You see what good that did. So the Steelers gave Antonio Brown Mike Wallace money, which is probably a good decision on their part. And Ryan Clark said to immediately to assistant coach, one of the strength coaches, watch, you created a monster now. So now the guy throws temper tem tantrums. If he doesn't get the ball, he throws temper tantrums. It's all about him. He's a great competitor. He, he'll win you some ball games, but... Just a selfishness. And, you know, Mike Tomlin, I give him credit. He makes some stupid decisions, but he doesn't go out and kiss people's asses. He's basically an old school coach that doesn't bend. And, you know, which is funny, you know, everybody, a lot of guys, well, we want a black coach. Well, when they get one, they don't like it because then he lays the wood down there, you know, but he's doing his job. Yeah, they got to get rid of him at this point. They got another guy, Juju Schuster, coming up who's bigger, faster. I mean, you can get anybody in there. You got a good quarterback like Big Ben. It's just like anything, man. You got to remove toxic things out of your life. Well, it depends if it's toxic. I mean, if you're a great talent and you're busting your ass every play, you can overlook stuff. But when you pout and you, it turns out he refused. He walked off the field at halftime. He refused to play that game. He flat out refused. And the Steelers, out of embarrassment, said he had a knee injury. He didn't have a knee injury at all. But against, against Cincinnati? Flat out refused. And they almost fucking lost that game. They had to win, but then they had to wait for fuck. They had. They were depending on Cleveland to fucking win. Now they got the Chargers going to Baltimore, which Baltimore, pro I hope they don't, but, pro you know, Baltimore will probably end up in the AFC Championship. No. The Chargers are going to stomp them. Baltimore's Baltimore beat the shit out of them in, in L.A. a few weeks ago. That doesn't matter. The Chargers are going to stomp them. Chargers play better on the road. I, I'm, I'm rooting for Rivers, but don't be surprised if Baltimore's in the AFC Championship. Don't be game. surprised if New England's in the Super Bowl. No, I wouldn't be. Big, oh, Len Big Lenny from uh, Coral Lab Core Laboratories. Big Lenny, what are the top 10 exercises for an athlete looking to get massive and strong? What set slash rep range? First of all, you start off with the power clean. At least, you know, you could do a few warm-up sets, but at least two good hard work sets of five to six reps. That's not really a good high rep movement. It's ex you're thinking explosiveness. You're thinking ripping that weight up, just like when you do a tackle. Number two, back squat. Again, two hard work sets, anywhere from eight to 10 reps. Go a little higher on it. We get better leg muscle, better tension, and it's just overall harder to do, which is better. Number three, incline barbell press. Two sets of six to eight reps to failure, of course. Number four, dips and weighted dips if you can. Six to eight reps. Number five, barbell bent over barbell rows. Six to eight reps, two sets. Number six, deadlifts off the floor, rock deadlifts. Two sets, six to eight reps. Seven, chin-ups or pull-downs, two sets, six to eight reps. Number eight, standing calf raise. Number nine, some neck work to the front and the back. And number 10, I would do a hanging reg laze. Hanging reg laze. That way you work every body hanging part. Hanging reg laze? Hanging reg <laughs> laze. Like you work every body part. Oh, I forgot. Throw in a some type of overhead standing press. Preferably a standing Behind the neck or standing overhead press like Brad does. And you can omit the leg raises, but those sets two, six, to eight. You're not doing any so-called tricep work, but you're getting it done through. Do you, do you condone presses behind the neck or is that bad for your shoulders? They're better. Just don't lower it too low. Guys run into problems when they lower it to their collarbone. That's not mm -hmm. the way to do it. I lower it. I was lowered to my head one time. I had great delts. Lower so it to your head. So you had like your, the 90 degree angle, right? Yeah. Lower it to your ear. Don't go, don't go it too low. You lower your you're not only not working the delts, you're going to screw up your shoulder. It's a very complex joint. Don't want to mess it up. And again, you have to follow that with eating at least four meals a day with one shake, preferably more. 
getting as much sleep as you can, keeping your overall. What was the original question? To build mass. It's that simple. E eating. Eating. Top, eating. Top 10 exercises Water for training. an athlete looking to get massive and strong. Yeah. Okay. Power clean being the first. That's basically all the shit that you do, really. Not really. I don't do power clean. But aside from that, I mean. I do arm work because I need it, but if you're doing heavy chins, dips, presses, benches, you don't need arm work. Barbell rows, that's not going to. It's going to build an arm as rowing 315 for reps. You can curl 20 pound dumbbells all day. That ain't going to do shit. But if you're doing chin ups with body weight, you're going to have some strong biceps. Yeah. Get in the gym and get out. Eat according to how you want to look or what your position is. And if you're over a certain age, add a little testosterone. Works wonders. And you'll be a superman. Your brain, better functioning, more healthy. Absolutely. And if I could do it over again, I would have been a football player that wanted me to. And I could have done it naturally. All right. Here's another question from 8CH underscore degenerate. Ask Lenny what to do for Fenibut withdrawal. I heard... L tyrosine is good, but I need Lenny's wisdom on this. There's nearly nothing you could do except sleep. But the good thing is when you're weaning off Fenibut, I used to have my two days off for the week where I didn't go to work or the gym. This is like five years ago. And I would literally sleep, like maybe eat a, go back to sleep. I mean, do absolutely nothing. I remember that. Yeah. And I was in such a deep sleep, it felt mm -hmm. great. And I was so relaxed. But you don't want to have those off days on the Fenibut when you're at work because you do not want to hear, you don't engage with people. You don't want to talk. It really annoys you, and that's the problem with it. You're very antisocial, and you're not meaning to be, but you are. You're very, you don't want to hear anybody's shit. Never tried Fenibut. Yeah, it's pretty good. I haven't done it in a while. Scarce now, I can't find it, right? You can't, Andrew Clark. It's a good, if you have like a big speech, or you got to have a social activity you don't really want to go to, it works great. For but I was doing so much of it back in the day because I didn't freeze. So your tolerance is real high. I was really, yeah, I was, I was one sorry son. I would, I would literally almost pass out on my bike going home. It was horrible. All right, very good talking to the women, though, picking up girls on it. Very good. Here's a good one that I remember we talked about the other day, but I wanted to from NSFCCS. Has Lenny ever tried check drops? Quote, the alleged anabolic rage-inducing compound John Jones has been using that is being covered up as T-ball. I'd like to get some. The chemical name is my bowl around. Someone could send some. I never tried. I would like to try it. Mike Tyson used that many for his fights. Football players have used it. It's supposed to give you instant aggression. Of course, testosterone suspension does the same thing. Check chops are primarily made for female dogs that are going into heat. Huh. And they are in liquid form. They are liver dogs. Again, I never heard anybody fuck themselves. I didn't know, he, I didn't know John Jones was taking that. What about the T-ball, the Torino ball? What, what do you know about that? Developed in East, communist East Germany in the 70s. It was used to basically for swimmers, track athletes. Because it increased size and strength without increasing water retention, weighing you down. Mm -hmm. Where the Americans so developed Dianabol. So if you got to make, make weight, that's the perfect thing. Right. Okay. Americans developed Dianabol. The Soviets developed, started using testosterone, which they learned from the Nazi SS. Because a lot of those German soldiers were captured by the Russians. And most of it never made, made it back to Germany. They were in Russian prison camps for 20 years, died off. And they you know, spilled a lot of beans. So... Remember, folks, Nazis testosterone, then the Russians got testosterone. United States weightlifting team got made Dianabol. The story goes that Dr. John Ziegler, who was the strength coach of the U.S. Olympic weightlifting team, went to Russia in the 50s and got the head strength coach of them drunk and just says, hey, why are you guys dominating so much? What kind of training are you doing? You know, he gave him vodka in a bar. And the Russian strength coach was drunk. He goes, we're using testosterone. But what Dr. Ziegler was, he didn't want to be a copycat because that was the old concept of the arm race. He's like, went back to the United States. He got the secret. He goes, I'm going to make something better. And he did. Milligram for milligram. Diana Ball is better for muscle growth and strength than testosterone without the uh, androgenic effects of aggressiveness, excess hair, oily skin, and so on and so forth. And then obviously the East German communists who weren't necessarily with Russia, they developed the Tarena Ball. And a lot of the female swimmers were given that outstanding results. They were masculinized a bit, sure, don't get me wrong, but right. not, not as much water retention. You had a faster, stronger swimmer, sprinter. Well, they claim that he did it years ago and it just stayed in his system for... Bullshit. Yeah, bullshit. They said like a pegagram or some, something? Whatever I mean, the you fuck could that. detect small amounts, but what, if it, is this amount that small, who even gives a shit? Yeah, it's not gonna. It's not gonna make a difference in the outcome of that. Front, Stop the sure. drug testing sports. Knock it off. What is your New Year's stack? <laughs> CC a test. 
Equipoise Deca every other day. 50 milligram Dianabol in the morning, 50 milligram Dianabol in the afternoon. When I wake in the morning, three I use the GH. 15 minutes later, uh, a long acting Traceba, which is 24 hour insulin. And I also started act adding a 10 uh, IU Novarar intermediate insulin. And I do that again in the afternoon. I'll take the three I use at GH when I come home from work. Then I'll take 15, I'll start preparing my meal. Then I'll take 15 minutes later, I'll take a 10 I use of Novelinar. I eat my meal, take a nap, take my pre-workout, go to the gym and the insulin is covered. And I got my big post-workout carb and protein drink. And that's basically it. If the side effects could get too severe as far as not be able to breathe or lethargy, I'll cut out one D ball to maybe to a pre-workout. But regardless, every 30 days, I'm doing a 30 day 30 on with the D ball anyway, regardless. If I can make it to 30, that's great. But if I'm, I'm still going off for 30, okay. because then the equipoise will be kicking in by then. And that'll last until, with a little tweaks until June 1st, I hope to put on 30 to 40 pounds, 350, 360 when I start my Jesus diet Christ. for the Ruby. I come in shredded, and hard as nails. And what's your diet like? Because that's My diet now is five meals a day. I have a pound of steak in the morning with a half a box of cereal, quart of lactose-free whole milk on the cereal, and a banana. And then at work, I have my New World Nutritional Sponsored Whey Isolate. I have a 100-gram shake mixed with two cups of oats. Then when I come home from work, it's, it's another pound of steak, uh, maybe two bagels, and then some raisins. Then my post-workout shake is another 100-gram dose of whey isolate, New World Nutritionals, with 120 grams of carbotene with carbs, amino acids. And I add a scoop of HMB, three scoops of uh, BioGrow, and 10 grams of creatine, glutamine, and arginine, to that which I just drank now. And then I'll have a solid meal tonight before I go to bed. So that's five meals. Two well, what will you have tonight? Probably some stuffed cabbage that my mom made from New Year's with probably a couple scoops of a couple cups of potatoes, boiled potatoes I had, and then a little salad with cottage cheese, like a spinach salad with some cashews on it or some almonds or some walnuts and a quart of lactose free milk. And then I'll take a one milliliter of MK677 and then I brush my teeth and I go to bed. And I think about Christina. There you have it, maniacs. The yeah. fucking death stack. And then when I wake up the first time to piss, I take t 10 grams of glutamine, which puts me back to sleep. Second time I get up to piss, I take the three I use of growth in the morning, which is probably around five o'clock, and I'll drink some water with it. And then my, that alarm clock, that dreadful 6.30 alarm clock goes off. I shoot the insulin and I eat. Got all bases covered. Fuck yeah, you just covered be big. all bases, buddy. Dale Chance is going to be small next to me. <laughs> and uh, it's that simple. Time to break scales. Got to break the scales. If you can't break the scales, you ain't going anywhere. If you can't play the game of the knife and fork, you ain't going anywhere. Can scales break pills? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, there you have it. <clears throat> we done here? We done here? I don't yeah, know what it's called. I'm, I'm, I'm half asleep, as you know. So, Brad, since you haven't <laughs> been, had one with a girlfriend, have you been masturbating? <laughs> Why would you ask that? It's a great question. Why is that a great question? The maniacs would love to know. Well, if he has it, Ben, he can go to Paradise Lounge tomorrow night and have a done for him. Let's go to Diamond Dolls with Mike Tits. Well, I should get back from Miami it's fairly, fairly early. What, you're going there at 5? Five? 5.30. You're not going to be back till at least mid. You're going to South Beach? Yeah. South Beach is at least a solid hour drive on a Friday yeah. night. Yeah. That's two hours right there. How long do you think the party's till? It's the dinner. And you're not going to go hunting after that? With who? Well, who's taking you? My coworkers. Is he going? To, is he going down there tomorrow night to South Beach? No, he's going to this gym. It's the train trains there Saturday afternoon. He's going to ask her out. I can't believe he told me. Oh, She's shit. pretty cool, dude. She got a pre-workout. That one he sent me the picture of. Yeah, I'm shocked. How did it look? It was. She was doing. Um, it looks like rope crunches in yeah. the in the cable machine. Yeah. I couldn't really tell. She's got a big ass and tits. And, and a cock. They're they're asking now if I'll be. Chasing 10, 10, 10s with you. Isn't it beautiful? Big a ass tits in a chance. clock. What a mix. That's not the old cookie cutter down Atlantic Avenue, Mr. Uh, Boar, Boar Fest. <laughs> you were down on Atlantic Avenue two weeks ago, you fucking And I didn't see any 10, 10, 10s that I know about. Well, you hooked up. There was a, you took pictures. I hooked with up a, with a fucking. You, you took pictures with a nice looking Yeah, chick. that was Juicy Joyce. That was a coworker. Juicy Joyce. Oh, what? Ex-stripper. So you didn't enjoy yourself while you were down there? 
enjoy myself better with a tan, tan, tan. You said those those kids that were playing in the Boca Bowl were out drinking, right? I caught them. What team was it? University oh. of Alabama, Birmingham. Yeah, they beat the shit out of that other team. Well, I came up to a group of they them. They were out drinking. They had their t-shirts on. <laughs> yeah. And I told Chris to do the live. He's doing a live. I said, is that alcohol in that board? He goes, no. I said, you mean to tell me you got a bowl game on Tuesday and you guys are here drinking? And they looked at me, oh, shit. And uh, it's funny, though. Once I walked to the other side of the bar, they came up to Chris. You better erase that shit, man. We're not from here. We're not from here. When I wasn't there, you know, the big, tough, fucking little football jockettes. <laughs> jockettes. <laughs> I would have loved one of them to fucking hit me in the face. Any bodybuilding events? May 4th. The Florida Grand Prix. Andrew Catman Calora is all steam. All systems go for that. He's starting his diet Saturday. So, Maniacs, all the film will be in effect. A lot of mints. Suggest you guys come down here. It's on Military Trail at Kaiser University, a place that screwed me out of a job in May. So, maybe you can give him a peace of mind while you're there. Hint, hint. Come in the cafeteria on my behalf to that guy, dude with the earring, <laughs> giving me the runaround and go see the Catman and <clears throat> make, make it so intimidating. So, the judges better give Catman first place or the place is going down. Any other shout outs you want to do? To my sponsor, Buy Research Liquids, New, New World Nutritionals, Delivery Dudes Food Service, Book Cameo, and... Delivery Dudes, that's, that's kind of sexist. Why isn't it Delivery Chicks? It should be. That's a good point. They should have chicks fucking come in lingerie to your house and fish now. That's a good idea. Maybe we ought to start it. <laughs> and also, last but not least, or actually two more. New, univer new Universal Order for the great content, the ballsy approach, and the great motivating apparel that's durable and functional. And if you can't get fired up wearing a shirt like that, you don't have any heart or, or soul. And last but not least, Chance Apparel. Hey, as much as Dale's a thorn in my side, you got, I give the guy credit. He's got good products. And I actually, for the predictions of RX Muscle, I hope he knows that I sent mine in, and Dale Chance will come in third place in one of the shows at the end. I hope he likes it. I would ask you what your New Year resolution is, but I know you're not a computer. My New Year re resolution is to take it from a tan, 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 <laughs> like a man. <laughs> With your loose asshole, right? Get my cherry popped if you get my drift, Brad, from a tan, tan, tan. You like all them fingers in your butt. You just got to find it. Uh, you need a ten, so. No, I don't recommend that for anybody, to be honest. Yeah, good. Stick with the fingers and tongues. And hopefully one of you guys may get, or girls may get Brad's tongue. But put that lazy tongue to use, Brad. Use it or lose it, Brad. Yeah, That's a new saying for you, Brad. You got it. Your New Year's resolution, you're going to eat dirt this year. <laughs> it's like that saying, you know, when the girl's on her period, when the Red River's flowing, take the dirt trail. Oh, look at that, Brad. Get a t-shirt idea. <laughs> I'm going to shout out Bookie Basher. He gave us a pick for this week, Indianapolis. He said it at plus two and a half. It went up to plus five, uh, one and a half now because everybody's jumping. Real on. gutsy call, everybody's Bookie just, Basher. Everybody's jumping on India, it looks like. so. Real gutsy call, we'll see Bookie what Basher. happens, Bookie Basher. You better be right. <laughs> you want to shout anybody out, Andrew? I have no sponsors. I have two. <laughs> Rabbi Rabinovitz. <laughs> yeah. Two obituaries, me and Gene Okerlund. Oh, that's right. 76 years old. And Mean Gene. Pumping Irons, Ed Corny. Supposedly he's one of the greatest posers of all time, but uh-uh. If you check out Pumping Iron, one of the most intense, perfect form squat scenes of all time when he's squatting with Arnold, and he's 42 years old at the time. That's how you see squatting barefoot, and you squat the failure. You know who else who died? Uh, Super Dave Osborne, Bob Einstein. Oh, shit. Yeah. Mar heard? Marty Funkhauser on Curb Your Enthusiasm. Never heard of her. You never, know, you never watched the TV show Bizarre with uh, Super Dave Osborne? Never, no. No? No cable. I'm busy watching mystery hunters yeah. with the fire. Oh, Christina, reach out to me, baby. The fire is still burning hotter than ever. You know, there's supposed to be a meteor shower tonight we can we can see. I think between 8 and 9 o'clock. They said like 200 meteors an hour. Well, get out my umbrella like the cookie cutters. Well, it's about 9 o'clock now. I think yeah. we're going to miss Get your umbrella, Mr. Pompura. You want to go outside and watch some meteors? <laughs> yeah. I forget what it's called. It, it can be most... The, the best place to view it, they said, is Europe. So, Christina, get me out there. I don't know how much we're going to see. I'll protect you. I like this music. I can hear the beat. What is it? Time to go. 
Good night, fucks. Good night, Christine, you little bitch. Hey. I'll say it for you. <laughs> Good night, Dale. Oh, Dale sent me a picture of his kid uh, shooting a deer the other night. That's real nice, Dale. I'll show you the picture. It's good. Real nice. Is it a canned hunt? Yeah. Send us some of that fucking venison, man. <laughs> Anything else? We done? Ready to go? I'm going to sleep. All right. Yeah. Good, good night, night Christina. You got us. Let's go watch the meteors. <laughs> <laughs>